Hello, my name is Mike Rocca, and I'm a CAT Application Support Specialist with the Florida Department of Transportation. Today, I will be going through the FDOT Civil 3D Subassembly Composer Trading Guide. In this series of videos, I will take you step by step through each exercise from the guide. Today, we'll start with Chapter 8, Editing PKT Files and Model Updates. Let's begin. So in this chapter, we're making changes to the packet file that we did in the previous chapter and then updating the model. Now that everything's been modeled, let us now suppose that a fill ditch must be added if the fill height is less than 3 feet. Open Autodesk Subassembly Composer from all programs Autodesk Autodesk Subassembly Composer. Next, go to the Select File, Open, and then open 8.0 Editing PKT-Start.PKT. Scroll down on the flowchart panel to the decision symbol. The left side, which is true, currently holds the geometry for the fill situation. Delete the P5 and L5 rectangle by selecting it and pressing delete on the keyboard. Next, select the decision symbol from the workflow section on the toolbox and place it on the left side. Select the line currently connecting the P8 and L8 rectangle to the decision symbol and move one of the ends so that it connects properly to the main decision symbol. If you get a connect to the connection point error message, go ahead and click OK and then try moving the lines a little bit around. Here what I've done to correct the message is to reinsert the decision marker to the left here a little bit and then when you bring it up just kind of be mindful how the lines change and then it'll change to true. Next click on the new decision symbol and under the properties panel type in condition P2.Y minus AP1.Y less than 1. This condition will test true if the fill height is less than 1. Drag and drop a point from the geometry section of the toolbox. On the properties panel, on the point geometry type, for the type, set the type to slope and delta x. Under Point Geometry Properties, select from point P2 and then type in a slope of negative 50%. Type in a delta x of 2. and turn on link, add link from point. In order to test the behavior of the true condition, move the existing ground line close to P2 on the preview panel and verify that the segment is placed. Next, drag and drop a point from the geometry section of the toolbox and place it under the previously created point. On the Properties panel, under Point and Geometry Type, set the type to Delta X and Delta Y. Under Point Geometry Properties, select From Point P9. Type in a Delta X of 3. and type in a delta y of 0. And of course turn on under link add link to from point. 
Verify the ditch on the preview panel. Next, drag and drop another point from the geometry section of the tool box under the points and links previously created. Under geometry, under point geometry type, select slope to surface. Under point geometry properties, select from point P10. and type in cut slope for slope. Set the surface target to existing grade, and then be sure to check the box for add link to from point. Finally, a point and link must be added when the fill height is greater than three feet. Drag and drop a point next to the point and link previously created. Select the line currently connecting the P12 and L12 rectangle and add it to the decision symbol on its false condition. On the Properties panel, under Point Geometry Type, select Slope to Surface. Under Point Geometry Properties, select From Point P2, type in Fill Slope for the slope. I set the target to existing grade, and turn on Link, Add Link to From Point. Now move down existing grade on the preview panel and verify the proper behavior. Next, highlight the new link L9 under the properties panel. Change the type to link codes. Top. Repeat for L10, L11, and L12 link code. And L12. Verify that link codes L6, L7, and L8 are also set to top. On the right here, if you don't see the Packet Settings tab, just as a note, you can go to the View pull-down menu and choose Packet Settings window, and that tab shows up. For the subassembly name or type, type in Simple Lane Ditch Fill. Remember, don't put any spaces in the name. Save the packet file by selecting the File drop-down menu at the top left corner, and then choosing Save As. Here we're going to save it in the Roadway folder, and we're going to name it Simple Lane Ditch Fill. And then click Save. After saving the file, close Subassembly Composer and then launch Civil 3D. Open the drawing 8.0 editing pkt start.dwg. Next, restore the custom model view US98 SAC assemblies using the view controls.
On the Ribbon Home tab on the Crate Design panel, select Assembly, Crate Assembly, and then name it Simple Lane Fill Ditch. Next, go to the Insert Ribbon, and on the Import panel, choose Import Subassembly. This is just another alternative method to importing the .pkt file. For source file, click on the Browse folder, and then scroll down and choose your Simple Lane Ditch Fill, and then click Open. For the tool palette, we're going to put it on Basic. And then click OK. When the basic tool panel shows up, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll have subassembly 2. Or it might say simple lane ditch fill. You can always right click on it and rename it. Next, left click on the simple lane ditch fill subassembly to place it. When the properties dialog box comes up, notice down on the bottom that width, thickness, cut, and fill slopes are ready to be overwritten by the user. And the properties tool palette on the advanced parameters change the side to right. And set the width to 12 feet. Verify that the cut slope is 1 to 1 and that the fill slope has a value of negative 2 to 1. Select the on the properties tool palette on the advanced parameter change it to the left side. Again verify that the width is 12 feet and the cut slope is 1 to 1 and the fill slope is negative 2 to 1 and then select the left side of the marker. Press escape to exit out of the command. Next, restore the custom model view US98 24 plus 00 to 29 plus 00 using the view control commands. Select the quarter US98 24 plus 00 to 29 plus 00 from the prospector tab. Right click and select rebuild automatic. Right click again and choose cross section editor. From the ribbon on section editor tab, under station selection panel, set selection a station to region station. Next on the ribbon tab, select the forward arrow and move the station to 24 plus 00. Next, from the Ribbon Editor, Section Editor tab, Corridor Editor Tools panel, select Change Assembly. Select the Simple Lane Ditch Fill from the list and click OK. Upon selecting OK, notice how the corridor gets automatically rebuilt and all the sections are updated automatically. Next, select the close mark on the ribbon to exit the corridor section editor after reviewing the completion. Next, restore the custom model view US98 24 plus 00 to 29 plus 00 using the view commands. Save the drawing and then close Civil 3D. This ends chapter.